Hey, welcome to Tech Jungle. That was my son Quentin showing off the AirPods Pro and Powerbeats Pro. And since both of these wireless earbuds have Apple's H1 chip, I figured this would be a good comparison. So what I've done is come up with nine categories to measure them up against. Let's go ahead and see who has the best overall earbuds for your iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the name. So AirPods Pro are gonna be AirPods. Powerbeats Pro are gonna be Powerbeats. So starting off with design, the Powerbeats have that signature ear hook that goes around the ear and it's really comfortable to wear, especially if you're in the gym and you're moving around and you're active. They're not gonna fall off your ear at all. And what I like about the Powerbeats is that you have several color options to choose from. Now the AirPods, they're small and compact. They fit snugly without any type of discomfort. I do wish Apple had more color choices, but I felt like I could wear these longer than the Powerbeats overall. So for design, the Powerbeats get a four. I love the way they look, but I don't think I could wear them all day. The AirPods get a four. I wish they had more color choices, but I feel like I could wear them longer throughout the day. Now moving on to connectivity, both these have Apple's H1 chip like I previously mentioned, and they can quickly connect to your iPhone. They they also have Bluetooth 5.0 and what I've tested with my Windows laptop is I can quickly connect and with watching YouTube videos I didn't notice any delay with the audio and video everything seemed like it was synced up so for me connectivity the Powerbeats get a 5 and the AirPods get a 5. Now moving on to controls the Powerbeats have physical buttons for your play pause and track navigation plus a dedicated volume rocker for each earpiece and the AirPods have a digital control so you can squeeze the stem to play and pause and track navigate they also have an additional feature for noise canceling and transparency which we'll talk about later. So for controls, the Powerbeats get a 5 because they have physical buttons plus that volume rocker, whereas the AirPods get a 4 because they don't have any way to change the volume on the earpiece itself. So next we're talking about the case. So the Powerbeats have a big bulky case and I was unable to fit them into my pocket really well. You can't open it with one hand, which I really tried. They use a lightning connector and take about an hour to fully charge. However, they cannot wirelessly charge. And the case for the AirPods, it's very compact and pocketable. I can open them with one hand. They also use a lightning connector and take about an hour to fully charge, but these do have wireless charging. So for the case, the Powerbeats get a four. They can't wirelessly charge and they're big and bulky. And the AirPods get a five because they're compact and pocketable. I can open it with one hand and they also offer wireless charging. And so next up is mic quality. So the way I had this tested was I had the user stand the line while I switched between the Powerbeats and the AirPods. And according to them, they said the call quality between both the earpieces was the same. It wasn't as distinct as me using a phone. It sounded like I was more in a speakerphone. So for microphone quality, the Powerbeats get a four and the AirPods get a four. Now moving on to battery life, the Powerbeats can last up to nine hours in a single charge and the case itself has a 15 hour charge. The AirPods can last up to four and a half hours in a single charge and the case itself has a 24 hour charge. So for me, this one's a toss up for battery life. The Powerbeats get a four and the AirPods get a four. I wish the Powerbeats had a longer case charge and I wish the AirPods had a longer earpiece charge. So it's a toss up. Now moving on to additional features, the only thing I could think of for the Powerbeats is if you hold on the play pause button for three seconds, you'll activate Siri. Now the AirPods really shine in this category because they have several additional features. So they have Find My AirPods and they have active noise canceling and transparency. So the way this works is they have an outward facing microphone that picks up the ambience in the room and counters that by actively canceling the noise in your ear before you even hear it. And the way the transparency works is that same microphone then picks up that information and boosts the signal in your ear. So now you're hearing more of the outside environment with a little bit more clarity. And in my testing, the active noise canceling feature did a pretty good job at eliminating the mids and highs from the outside environment while the transparency boosted the mids and highs. But overall, I could probably use this feature for about an hour or so without experiencing any type of ear fatigue. Any more than that, and I probably would. So for additional features, the Powerbeats get a three and the AirPods get a five. So next up is sound and clarity, which is probably the most important category. So what I did here is I brought in a control unit, which is a pair of AKG K553 Mark IIs. Now these headphones are known for having rich mids, crisp highs, and decent lows. And what I wanted to do with these is just test how well the two pairs of earbuds stacked up against these headphones. Now the stigma that we all know about the Beats by Dre products is that they typically tune their headphones to have really crisp highs and deep lows, and they don't don't really focus too much on the mids and I feel like the Powerbeats Pro are tuned the same way so you get really crisp highs and good lows but the mids never punch through. You now with the AirPods Pro I feel like Apple really tuned them to have more of a balanced equalization
sensation. So you get crisp highs, a decent set of lows, and the richness of the mids really come through. And this is after listening to several different genres of music. So not only hip hop, but reggae, R&B, classical music. Everything that I listened to with the AirPods just felt more rich and alive. And so for sound and clarity, the Power Beats get a four, the AirPods get a five. And now moving on to our final category, which is price. At the time of this comparison, the Power Beats are currently retailed at $199 and the AirPods Pro are retail for $249. And so for price, I'm giving the Power Beats a four. They have come down $50 from their original price and I think that's a good deal. And for the AirPods Pro, I'm also giving them a four. I think they're marked relatively comparable with other active noise canceling earphones. And so for the last category of this comparison, both are tied. And now adding all the numbers together, the Power Beats Pro get a total of 37 and the AirPods Pro get a total of 40, making the AirPods Pro the current overall best value to get at this particular time in my opinion. And so conclusion, the Power Beats Pro are a great affordable alternative to those wanting a great sounding set of earbuds. They have several color options. They have great all day battery life, crisp highs and deep lows. And with the AirPods Pro, you are getting Apple's best AirPods yet. Grant, they come at a steep cost, but they fit really well in the ear with the new design. They have the noise canceling and transparency features. They have really good, rich highs, mids and lows. And now we're just waiting for Apple to start coming out with more color options to make this more of an attractive buy. And so there you have it. That's my comparison of the Powerbeats Pro and the AirPods Pro. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, let me know if you're gonna be picking up one of these for the holidays, or maybe you're eyeing something completely different like the Samsung Galaxy Buds or Sony earbuds. Just let me know in the comment section below because I'd like to know. Again, this is Tech Jungle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all take care and I'll see y'all in the next one.